Here is West Virginia, 1-0 and this year, beating Ohio University, but their worst season under Don Nealon last year, 4-7. and They want to turn that around. They have the new freshman quarterback in Major Harris. He is a red shirt, and he is going to be running, as we understand today, for the most part, a wishbone. It is a young ball club on defense at the linebacking core. And now down... As West Virginia comes on, their captains are already on the field and are prepared for the toss of to the coin. And here come the Buckeyes, number five in the nation. The officials breaking out. Here's the series record. Last meeting in 19-3. Ohio State won 34-6, and the six points by West Virginia was the most point scored by any team in any prior West Virginia Ohio State confrontation the rest of the time they have been totally shut out and it is tallying at the six to the 20 across the 25 lost the football there it goes up for grabs again and it's going to belong I believe to Ohio State at the 37 yard line now, Matt Franz, who missed one of 47 yards against Michigan, will try one from 47 yards again, and this one is good. End of the last regular season, missing one that could have beat Michigan, starts the season by making one of the same distance to give Ohio State, after the fumble, the 3 to nothing lead. Seen this this year. And here's the handoff, and a good run there by A.B. Brown, and Brown has tossed up the football, and it's recovered by Ohio State. David Brown inside Tom Tupa. 3 0 Ohio State leads. Tupa the short drop. The fire there to Edward Ross. Ross inside the 10 yard line. Dragged down there by Preston Waters. Number five. They'll mark the ball between the eight and the seven. Now shows us a full house backfield. And here is the handoff and a touchdown by James Bryant. Bryant, the sophomore, makes it nine to nothing. Big hole. And another gift by West Virginia. And for fortunately for Ohio State, they have taken advantage, haven't they? Talley swings out of motion from the wishbone. And Major Harris still has the football. He can scramble, but he's going to throw this time. Fires the football off the hands of one man, and it is intercepted. How about that? Number 37, William White. And that's the third turnover in less than three minutes of play. Off the hand. The passing team, although remember, Brian has the only touchdown running. And wide open on the far side is Everett Ross. Wide open. Put focus for a national championship run. Two tight ends. Full house backfield. First down, George Cooper. In motion, first down Ohio State from the 39-yard line. And Tupa back to throw. Under some pressure. Oh, what a catch that is. Tremendous catch by Everett Ross. Nose guard for David Grant. And Tupa's back to pass on second and long. And for Ross, who's all by himself. Touchdown! 23 yards. Two men back there, but none of them close enough. He was behind them both. Traditionally considered a catch-up, so now they've got their freshman quarterback in the I formation, what they did not want to have. Third down, five to go. Major Harris back to throw. Throws, has his man, but it is intercepted for and then dropped. Spielman got the ball. Flags go down. Spielman dropped the ball, and it was recovered by Ohio State's Ritter. In their style of play. First down from a 30-yard line. Tally the man in motion, and Timko back to throw. Gets the ball out there. It is intercepted, and there's that man, Spielman again. And, and 13 to go. And Timko back to throw. And this is going to be near an Ohio State man, and it's going to be intercepted for yet another turnover. And that is White. Bell was the intended receiver, and White picked it off. And Tim Workman in motion. Tupin loves to throw. Why not? Waited all his time, and he's got Workman there, but it is intercepted. Yet another turnover this time by Willie Edwards. Look at this. Carlos Snow is going to take the ball at the goal line and bring it out. They say he's been looking very good at what a hole he's got. And lost the football. Another fumble, and let's see who gets it. West Virginia says they have it. The officials haven't said anything yet. Carlos Snow, the freshman, out of Cincinnati, has fumbled the football, and they're saying it belongs to West Virginia. 
We've seen this play before. Justin, quarterback, but his ability gives him the opportunity to be a very good one. Looks like the old split tee. They're trying to get the first down. Now, you know they've got to get to the 30-yard line. Chris Spielman has stacked this up, and Ohio State thinks he did not get to the 30-yard line. Major Harris. And, of course, Arizona State, the Rose Bowl champs, and John Cooper said on our Big Ten Today show, <laughs> he is loaded. He's happy with his position. Here's Tupa to kick the ball away. Aiming it for the side in the corner, and they may get something out of this, and they're going to get it at about the two. Putting West Virginia in the hole, down by 14, with 3.14 to go. The ball is inside the five-yard line, a long way for the major Harris West Virginia offense to go, and they the senior to get something going. After all, they've got to go about 97 yards to get one score, and they need two touchdowns to tie. Now Nealon, graduate of Bowling Green, in his eighth year, four straight years, he went to bowl games after rebuilding that program, and he's very close to catching Art Pappy Lewis as the all-time winningest coach at West Virginia. Demko's going to throw from his own end zone and throwing it out here for Tally, and there's White with his third interception of the day. The seventh turnover, and White goes in for the touchdown. Three interceptions for William White, one touchdown. And that puts the icing on Ohio State's first game kick. Are still here, despite the fact they've gone through rain. William White has tied the school record for interceptions with his three today, including one touchdown. Oh, look at Brown. Look at Brown. Is he going to get it? Yes. They say he's out of bounds as he was bumped out of bounds, bobbling the ball. And I have nine more weeks to go on the Big Ten Football Network and join us every Saturday. Here's Tim Coe putting it up, looking for Harvey Smith, and the ball is intercepted in the end zone by Rogan. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is incredible. That is the eighth turnover by West Virginia today with 33 seconds to go. And this will be his first collegiate experience. Not bad, 33 seconds to go and 24 to 3. And he's going to put his knee down. Fans didn't like it, believe it or not. Archie Griffin, who in this nation has ever won the Heisman Trophy twice? You're looking at him. Archie Griffin, his brother Keith still plays in professional football. Archie had quite a career. They're letting the clock run down. And this first Big Ten football telecast on the Big Ten Network is just about over in Ohio State, thanks to defense and turnovers dominated West Virginia, kept them from crossing the goal line, gave them only a field goal, and that after turn over their own, and scored 24 points. Final score, Ohio State 24 and West Virginia 3. And we'll come back with more of our...